Hey guys, welcome to a new video where we're going to show you something really amazing, which is a fully AI conversational chatbot. We don't need any buttons to save data or to basically grab certain pieces of information or let the user make a choice. Everything is going to go with conversation wise. As a demo, and we are going to turn this into a course very, very soon. But as a demo, I want to show you some examples of how you can set this up. So I prepared a few different kinds of uh, sort of conversations that you might have with a chatbot, right? And which is to book a coaching call, membership information, small talk. So just to handle the small talk um, for support purposes. And those are the four topics that we're going to highlight today. There are a few elements that we need for a fully conversational uh, AI chatbot, right? The first one will be to go under the automations tab, go towards intent and functions and create a few topics of the conversations or the topics that you want to cover, right? There's nothing inside of these intents and I'm even basically disabling the auto intent detect. So it seems it does not do anything, but actually you're quite boring if you think so. So first of all, let's go inside of an intent where you will see I only have a name, right? And a description. Something like this is more than enough. Then we're going to set a minimum confidence score and just save the results towards a JSON field because it's required. And then I'm going towards a specific intent or a specific flow. Even this flow that I'm going to set does not make, does not do anything basically because we're going to use these intent detections in a different way. So I've done this for all the other ones as well. All go towards their own flows, only have a title. I turn them to active. You can also turn them to inactive if you like to. Doesn't really matter. The most important part is that we are going to disable this one because the auto intent detection, however great, they still do not capture the correct context of the conversation every single time. So we're going to use this in a different way. If we are going towards the next step, the next step will be to go towards the keywords and set your default reply to fire every time and then go towards the AI content selector or the AI intent selector, sorry. And inside we are going to use the functions. So the functions to determine which intent needs to be triggered. If we go towards that specific flow, which is the bottom one, as you can see, there are not many notes inside, right? So if we're going to take a look, the only thing that I'm doing in the first step is just to slice the uh, OpenAI history. So that's basically the chat history that we are going to use throughout the entire conversation with the user on different topics to provide context. But we're going to slice, which means that we are only saving the last five newest entries of the conversation with the user. This means that OpenAI or ChatGPT should still have enough context, but only saves a small portion of it to basically save tokens that you need to use inside the chat completions themselves, because we're also going to forward the history of the conversation so far. And it also allows you to prevent any kind of uh, chatbot getting stuck because the OpenAI history will become too large, for example, right? So we are going to get a slice of items, as you can see, the JSON field will be OpenAI, which is a system field that's on top. Then we're going to go with the operation, get a slice of items, offset is minus five, so only save the last five newest entries. And then we're going to save the results again back towards that exact same system field. Now, if we are going to go towards the next step, we have the create chat completion to determine the correct intent. And if we're going to take a look inside, I have not much of a system message, and this basically functions as the operating system for the AI itself. So the system message is you are determined the correct intent based on the user's reply, only output the matched function name. Then we have the messages last text input because that always saves the last entry that the user typed. And then we have the functions, which are really, really important because now you will see that we have those intents that we created under the intent detection, but now we're going to use them inside the chat completion, which is much more accurate, at least from my testing. Really important is that we are going to go with the remember history set to yes. Then we have the model GPT-4. Max tokens is default at 100, which is fine for this specific chat completion. And that is basically it. You could also go with the temperature down to zero or 0 0.4, which is for me the sweet spot. But I, for this chat completion, it's not really needed. So if we're going to take a look, perfect, thank you, right? I'm going to test the request, then it outputs only the function. And as you can see, under the functions, dot small talk, right? So that is the triggered and matched intent, which is just small talk, basically confirming something that was prior to the conversation. But if I'm going to do something else, so let's say, uh, can I schedule a coaching call with you? Then it should, of course, in basically trigger the intent coaching call. So let's say test request. And now you will see functions.coaching call. So we're going to save this under the system field. And you will see that at the bottom because I already saved this, right? But we can just go and save this specific section and then save it towards the intent underscore match custom field. So if we're going towards the next step, we have a series of conditions that check which basically which intent has been matched. So was it intent match contains small underscore talk? Then we are going towards this specific flow, which is a standalone chat completion to generate a reply based on the user's answer. If not, was the intent match contains support, right? If so, go towards support. Was it membership? 
go towards the membership information. Was it regarding coaching? Then go towards the coaching call, right? So this is the way that you can determine the different kinds of topics that the user is talking about without the need to let the user choose from a specific menu, right? The conversation, the context of the user's question or reply, input, however you want to call it, is the context that ChatGPT will basically determine the correct intent and sends the user towards the correct flow. So that's part one. Now, inside of these flows, if we're going to take a look, you will see that we have different kinds of intents, right? So for the intent small talk, we only have three notes. And if we take a look inside, then you will see that we basically have a starting note, which is mandatory. We have the chat completion and just the chat GPT response. On the membership information, we basically have the exact same, as you can see here, right? For the intent support, it's basically also the exact same, as you can see here, because we're just fetching the information from the system message. Based on the system message, ChatGPT will generate a reply. Now, for the coaching call, that's a little bit different because we need to capture certain elements like the date, the time, and also the reason, reason for the coaching call, right? So if we're going to take a look, we have a few additional notes. And the first one will be to first basically take a look at the user's context to see what kind of parameters have already been captured. If we have everything, then we're going with the condition step to check if there is a certain, um, basically a certain word, in this case completed, inside of the basically the return of the chat GPT response. And if yes, we're going to do a little bit of formatting. And if no, we're just going to ask certain questions of the user. We're going to loop this around until we have captured all the parameters. And then we're going to output it, format it, and then send it towards the user. So inside of this one, if we take a look, then I basically have static value. You can also import three dates, three times as custom fields and import them inside the system message. I just have this for testing purposes to see if everything is working properly. So inside the guidelines to respond, as you can see, the goal is to make sure all parameters are captioned to schedule a coaching call. The parameters needed are date, time, and reason for the coaching call, right? And then here we have, I only have the following three dates and times available. So the 24th of October between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. So you can only schedule between those times. If it's outside that time zone, ChatGPT will recognize that and then come back with a fallback message. And I've done so for three different kinds of days. Then I'm also going to pro provide some guidelines on how to respond. So ask each parameter in a separate sentence. Then we also have talk in the first person to make it a little bit more personal and conversational. Add fitting emojis. And when all parameters have been captured, output only the following. So I want to have this kind of JSON format, even though it's going to be saved inside of a text field, that is where the JavaScript comes into place, right? So we have the name, which is the first name, which we will grab from a system field. Then we have the date, the time, the reason. And then I have an additional parameter, which I'm going to check in the next condition step. The status completed. Then we will have messages set to last text input again. We have the remember chat history, because that's important if we want to loop around that we have access towards the prior history, right? To determine what parameters have already been given. Uh, for this one, we're going to set the max tokens to 250, which should be plenty, plenty enough. The temperature, because it needs to listen a little bit more closely towards the system message, I've set to my sweet spot of 0 0.4, and the rest is just set to default. Then we're going with a chat GPT response, basically just generating the content, right? So capturing the content. And then we're going inside the next condition step to check if the chat GPT response custom field contains the word completed, because that means that all parameters have been captured. Again, if not, we're just going to ask the questions, loop back until we reach this yes step. Inside, we are going with an action. As you can see here, we just have some additional actions here. May, this is just static payload, as you can see, right? Uh, but this allows us to grab the coaching call details and we can actually put this directly inside of a test value. So we can do that like this and then have this as the chat GPT response, right? And we can call this a parameter name. So let's say uh, this parameter will be called, um, let's see, um, appointment details. There we go. Now we can grab this and replace the static value. So this static value, there we go, with this system field or this parameter name. So if we're going to go with this value, let's first see if we are able to successfully grab this these details, right? Let's say test function. And we're now getting all of these, basically all of these outputs, right? We're going to save this inside of a coaching call details, and then we're going to output them. So let's save this, there we go. And then we're going to go with another uh, chat completion. And inside this chat completion, we're just going to format a nice looking appointment overview. So here we have the following, the user just made a coaching call appointment. You need to format this into a good overview. Guidelines to respond, details for the coaching calls are coaching calls, and then you will see that we have this, right? Name, date, time, and reason. So we're going to just give all of those variables. And then we can even have this outside. There we go. And then we are basically good to go. So let's test this entire setup out. 
And let's see what we get back. So I just deleted my bot user profile, so we can start from scratch. Let's just test this out. So this is just the main flow being triggered on the demo bot. Don't mind that. Uh, but let's say, hi, uh, how are you doing today? So this should trigger the small talk section. So let's take a look. It's first going towards the default reply, and the default reply will determine the correct intent. And here, before we are going to continue, we're just going to first ask for the name to make it a little bit more conversational. This is also a guideline inside the system a message of the small talk. So let's say Mark. So let's say my name is Mark. So my name is Mark. So let's do that. And let's see what this gets triggered, right? So it should return towards the uh, basically the small talk. And as you can see, nice to meet you, Mark. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How about you? How is your day going? Could just do a simple conversation. So I am good. Thanks for asking. Um, just excited to get started on my new journey. So this again should trigger the small talk and basically trigger a response from ChatGPT. So there we go. So that's fantastic, Mark. Starting a new journey is always thrilling. Can you share a bit more about this new adventure? I'm all ears, right? So this is just a small talk feature. So what we are going to do now, um, let's say um, that is actually what I wanted to talk about uh, during a coaching session. Can I schedule one? So now ChatGPT should recognize that we want to go towards the coaching intent section, right? So the coaching intent flow. So let's see if that works as well. So let's take a look. So it takes a little bit more longer to reply. And as you can see, now we get absolutely Mark, I'm here to help. Let's schedule a coaching call. For the first step, could you please pick a date from the available slots? And now you can see that we get the available slots that we put inside the system message directly returned back to us. So we don't have any buttons to press to confirm a specific date. Let's say I want to, since we also get the time slots, let's see if we can also directly give the time, right? So let's say uh, I would like, uh, well, let's say, uh, let's do 23 October at 2 p.m. So this should trigger a specific fallback message by ChatGPT because this is outside the parameters that we give it, right? So let's take a look. So as you can see, I'm sorry for the confusion mark, but I'm not available on the 23rd of October. Could you please choose a date from the following options? So you get a direct conversation back with the fallback message, right? So it's outside the parameters given. So we're now needing to pick something from the available dates. So let's say, okay, let's do uh, 30 October um, and let's say 11 a.m. So that should be within the time frame. But again, it's just asking for a date. But since I'm also giving a time, it should pick up the two parameters given. So let's take a look and see if it only asks for the reason of the coaching call. As you can see, perfect, we've got the date and time set. Now could you please tell me a bit more about the reason for our coaching call? This will help me prepare effectively for our session. So let's see, uh, definitely, uh, I want to build a chatbot uh, for the real estate niche, uh, but I want some help on how to uh, fetch available listings. So let's see if ChatGPT can summarize the reason for the appointment and give all the available details, right? And there we have it. Great, here's the overview of your coaching call appointment. Date 30th of October, 11 a.m. And purpose is to discuss and help you with building a chatbot for the real estate niche, specifically on how to fetch available listings. Looking forward to our session. And with that, the basically the completion for the coaching call has finished, right? And now we can just type anything that we'd like to. And so let's say, great, thanks. Uh, looking forward to our call. So this should trigger the specific small talk feature again. So let's see if that also works, right? There we go. Absolutely, Mark. I'm equally excited about our call. We'll make sure to delve into all the details about your building and your real estate chatbot. So it basically grabs all the information that we just made during the coaching call and basically summarize it inside the small talk feature. How cool is this, right? No buttons being pressed to select the date and time. It's being fetched from available information inside the system message. Again, you can do this with uh, dynamically fetching uh, the available dates and the available times, right? And then give them as custom fields inside the system message. But for demo purposes, I think this really proves a point, right? Um, so let's say I need uh, some help. Uh, I'm getting a five, let's say a 403 error. This in turn should trigger the customer support intent. So let's see if we directly get a solution presented to us, right? 
Um, this is also being set as a information point inside the system message for support. And as you can see, oh no, I'm sorry to hear that you're, ex that you're experiencing a 403 error. This is usually happening uh, when you're trying to log in from a completely different location, possibly even another country. If you have VPN enabled, that might be the cause. Try disabling your VPN, reloading the page. This should hopefully resolve the issue for you. If you're still having trouble, please don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to help. So we're switching from small talk to coaching call back towards support without touching or pressing any buttons. Just a fully conversational uh, experience for the end user with the business that it's interacting with. So how cool is this, guys? Right? So this is just a demo. We're going to turn this into an actual template and also a premium course where we're going to show you how to build this out step by step. So if you're excited, do drop a like on this video so we know there is interest in building out this premium course for you guys and we will try to get that done ASAP. For now, have a great day. Take care. Have a great weekend and talk soon.